as usual, when I do a collection, I'm doing it uh, purely for myself, not for anyone else. So this year, I've created uh, one of my little dreams that I've had for many years. It's called the Wonderland Collection, which uh, it represents a little bit of um, uh, the future of hairdressing, what I call it. And it's also um, really nice because it's all really wearable and it's all very, um, uh, how can I say, eccentric a little bit, but in the same time, there is no one pin in the hair or there's no tricks, rather than just beautiful textures, cuts and colors. It's unbelievable what you can do with hair. There is uh, some hairstyles that they represent like uh, uh, fully measured in nature, which is like palm trees. So we did some graphic hair on the top and uh, we have used like inset green colors and also uh, we have uh, done some hairstyles that they look like uh, dandelions, you know the one you blow and uh, I wanted to do something that's a little bit punk but in the same time really cute and really soft, almost, uh, not 70s, but to have that kind of, an, almost like you're looking at a 70s kind of afro, yeah. very groovy but not really, but very British actually. Yeah. Um, and also I've done some uh, three-dimensional colours. Uh, I have now done photographed my tartan, which is uh, one of the ideas that uh, represents Scottish tartan. So I actually like to see movement in the hair. I don't love so much static hair. So, I mean, the overall collection I think is really exciting and really inspiring and definitely can be wearable, even if it doesn't look like it can be wearable. But the kids of today or the future, that's what they're looking for and it's missing. I think every year um, I kind of want to do a collection that is kind of uh, inspirational and uh, it could be also commercial or it could be anything else but most of all it needs to inspire me and I think that if something inspires me first I can actually inspire other people but if I don't get inspired myself how may I inspire other people? It's impossible. The British of the year 2010 is and yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, I can't describe. It's been so busy, uh, packed with work, of course, and um, you just get to do lots of really amazing stuff. It's what you've always been wishing for, and it's, it's great. And I love being an ambassador and uh, representing, you know, uh, the truth of what we are, which uh, I think is really important to me.